version. And all the brass. And all the power door lock actuators. And so today's the day. We're gonna start doing these power doors on an EK hatch, turning them into SIR doors. Probably not the right order, but more than one way to skin a cat.
this rod out of the way. in which it went, which is just like that. Okay, apparently the trick to this was to just pry this out of here. Dig in here with a flathead screwdriver, pull down, and this clip will come out of here. And this will release from the door. Now, people say to pry. say to pry on that and, and man you can see I uh, see my pry marks you'll break that you guys so mine didn't come out easy and I don't see a clip anywhere but yeah it just pops out of there but it's pretty pretty risky to try to pop that out of there so I did it that way instead and I see there's blue Loctite in there as well in the factory so and don't lose any of your lock parts. And now we'll get this other piece out for the lock actuator. And there it is. There's the electric unit on the right. So I'm just gonna check everything and then uh, we'll go to install it. Just make sure that that's behind that clip there. Sometimes it likes to fall away. So once you're done doing that,
Exactly the same screws, but still. And just make sure everything's flush on the back. other piece and it went just like that. Just a little clip. Slide it in there. There we go. Make sure it's in place. Put that rod in there and push on the clip and that's hooked in there. Alright. We got ourselves a I got to orient the rod. So I'll have to make sure that I install the power window regulator and I put some heavy duty grease around it. Got the locks, electric locks, actuator in. We got the door handle and everything swapped over to the electric actuator. Uh, I've got the wire clipped in for that. I've got the power door regulator window regulator in and two of the screws mounted and if you look down in there you'll see that it's uh, on its highest setting right now so we're gonna have to look at the brains of the operation here and uh, get everything working so that I can roll the window down enough to put it on the window track it's been so long since uh, I've done this, so I don't remember where anything goes. So thank God I've got myself another EM1, so I can copy it. This one's fairly unmolested, one owner, but somebody has been here in the past. So what I've done is I've taken the door panel off, so I can see where all of this stuff goes for my other door. And in the process, you know, I found out that somebody else was in here and, and did a decent enough job of not wrecking the plastic. And then uh, I just wanted to have a look at all of this stuff, so really, really handy to have. I think I even must have kept this piece for the box. I think, unfortunately, I might have just ripped it off by accident. So, but yeah, this is. Uh, now I need to put those doors back together. Alright, so I'm the brains of the operation. I guess I need to figure out what this wiring is going to go there. So, this is supposed to go on after, but before. Brains. So that goes actually on there just like that. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna hang this for now so it's not so uh, much of a pain in the ass to deal with. 
That's all I gotta say. So I'd never remember any of this shit. No. That strikes me as to go here, but to where? It doesn't make no sense. So I'm guessing that goes there. forward hole now rather than the back hole and on the forward hole on the top but with the slot in it and the lower okay so it's different from the manual regulator went into these holes so and you know I'm just leaving everything loose until we get all this stuff routed I want it to be as close to factory as possibly human possible humanly possible So it says to put this one here next. That one's up there. Okay, so that's that. And then this one here. It's actually in the well if that's right or not. Okay, so that's pretty much the bottom figured out. I don't even know what the hell that's for. That's some other plug that's supposed to go here. Alright. And then... Oh yeah. So, good. Speaker wires. Plug for the door, and that's going to be the plug for the electric motor. That might be the one that we're looking for to go right over here. So there's the door connection to the power doors. Very difficult to get connected when you still got the fender on. I never removed the fenders on this car, but we got her done. So now there's a little clip in here for the rest of the harness. Just gonna clip that in there in that hole. There was a, a grommet or a plug in there from the factory. There's our speaker wires that didn't cut on the donor car that I took this harness out of. So that's where that goes to keep it secure and away from the window. And basically, other than all our controls now, our door is pretty much ready to go there's the power door locks and all up in there is the uh, uh the sun is really kicking the hell out of my filming here and then we got the electric door locks installed 
so I kept avoiding this job for a long time and uh, I don't know why it wasn't too bad but I'll tell you without the reference vehicle it's not uh, a little confusing with the wires on where they go and where everything would go as close to original as possible because that's just the kind of guy I am I'm one of them OEM OEM plus guys so old school so now the brains are all screwed in and we'll move on to the next project and getting this window regulator down and the glass installed we're looking at the locks and the windows oh, isn't that great top teeth were bent and the clip is broken now. You know, okay, there we go. That's the right way. Okay. So here we go. I guess we can see if we got some power here. Slide the glass in and hang it just like so. set my track. This front when you push up and pull towards the back of the car. I'm going to snug it right there. Top that, put it in there, put it in tight, push the track in. I had an issue with this window before. But ideally, you could just put these back away around it, which should be the factory setting. Put that in there. This one's all hooked up, that one's all hooked up, mine's good, this one up. So, I got that one done up, everything's all done up in there. Well, I just gotta do this, and I think there's a little bit of an adjustment to it. Not much, to center it and cinch it down. Thank you. 
Okay, so we've got that, and where's the door locks? Maybe it doesn't work because of the door. I don't know. I think it's that feature. So you don't lock the keys in your car? I don't know. So if the door's not closed, this won't lock. So there shouldn't be anything wrong with that door lock. So I think we're all good here. So now it would just be put the door panel back on, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave it off. But we do have some other goodies here. I think this guy went in here somewhere, and this was originally for the armrest. I'll put that in there. Well, what am I doing here? What's going on here? Oh, okay, so this clip's supposed to go in here. Let's orient them right. Perfect. That's the same way as the other one. Okay. And then there's a top and a bottom. So I'm going to have to get another screw from somewhere. So I don't think I have them all. So. And that pretty much covers installing the door stuff. So there it is, you guys. There it is, job complete. All of the mechanisms are in there, the windows adjusted. And uh, we've got power windows. Took a little bit of doing, but we got her done. Now onto the passenger side and you got to do the driver's side first because this is the brain that controls it all so if you don't do this you can't roll down the windows to do anything just a heads up on that and on this here um, when you go to do your lock cylinder make sure that there's three rods the longest one is supposed to stick out of the door tuck the other two otherwise you go back and have to redo it all um, other little pointers here are the rubber the rubber in here and make sure all of that is seated properly so that it doesn't come off to the track and then it was basically back to the factory settings on all of these but I can actually see this is maybe a little loose so I will bring it this way a little bit you can kind of see that so and uh, other than that it was pretty good these are also critical adjustments right here. That one there, and that one there. So just make note of where they had them, and that should give you a baseline to get the window adjusted. But yeah, it was a lot of pissing around, and God, I don't have, I hope I don't have to do this again anytime soon, that's for sure. Now I know why all you guys got your shit, because it's just too easy. So when you guys weren't looking, uh, I went and swapped out the mirror, so we got the power mirror hooked up. Tried everything a few more times, everything seems to be working well. Maybe a few minor adjustments on the window down there. But we'll just try it for now, it seems to be working pretty good, fairly smooth. And uh... So now we're uh, 20 different colors on the car. Side. I'm roll down the window till it gets to you. The bolt will be at this hole down here in the bottom. And line it up. I don't like to be using these things, but we'll get the go.
or thinking it's painful. So I want to take out the regulator. see that but the old speaker wire coming through the door is a tab on the top inside the door jam and a tab on the bottom if you push down on them this little plastic clip comes out of there and then there's a couple more tabs that you gotta push I totally forgot about that but there's a little grommet over the speaker wire in here Side. This one here, I think you just gotta pop it. Is that one? So, anyways, I'm gonna keep these so I can restore the EM1 harness that had the speaker plugs chopped. And I'm gonna put it back to factory. Okay, so you gotta remove this little rear track in order to get the lock actuator out. Just tuck that out of the way. You just pull down a little bit to slide it on the rubber to release from uh, its grip up there. Okay, so now we're gonna undo the clip here. There it is. cylinder installed here and uh, just for no that about, about that much thread is sufficient coming out of the end of that rod I've been unthreading them um, some people say to pry in here and I think you'll break that so this is the way I chose to do it take it all out anyway and you unthread the darn thing and you don't have any problems and just so you guys know, make sure that the long one is sticking out. Okay, passenger side window regulator. I got her all greased up, cleaned up, checked out. So, let's see if we can get this thing out to do here. side power regulator in so just know that's the manual regulator mounts in the rear four holes and the power regulator mounts in the front four holes and uh we want to see about getting the wiring harness together okay well I'm the passenger side wiring harness so here's the passenger side door all done all the wires are ran 
powered it up and we're able to lower the window regulator so I'm ready to install the glass We've got the uh, passenger door all done here it's missing a few little items here just not installed yet they're over there on the floor um, piece of plastic that goes in here it keeps the rods separate also separated the rods over there and uh, put that piece of plastic back in but you can't see it I got a bunch of extras and the uh, windows are working comes down beautifully it's back up beautifully it's got to test the mirrors now and uh, yeah so far so good so I got the passenger door all done everything's working beautifully so I could put the panel back on but uh, I'm not going to uh, until I'm absolutely sure that everything's good and stays on track I installed my top one uh, motors window vents there uh, everything's fitting pretty good there they're just just stuck in there and I got my power heated mirrors uh, only available in Canada So there's still lots of stuff to do in here. Still gotta do all the work underneath the dash yet, you guys. And so there's a little bit of wiring and stuff and uh, swapping over to have a rear wiper control and putting my original ignition switch into this EM1 steering column. Buttoned up a few things over there. Uh, like that piece of white plastic on the left and a little foam in the center of the screen there It's to separate the two rods so you don't hear them clanging together going over bumps or closing the door and, uh, So there's a bunch of stuff to do in here yet the door panels uh, the center console I think I got some e-brake adjustments to do um, There's the roll cage you guys just a little shot of the roll cage in here and uh, yeah, I know I broke the windshield trying to install the uh, roll bar by accident. It was already broken anyway. And so, stay tuned for more progress. We've got power steering work to do, a bunch of more suspension work to do, uh, wheel bearings and whatnot. So lots of good content. I'll show you how to do it on your own in your own backyard with minimal tools. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.